Hello guys, welcome again to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about a major fundamental problem about a building. Okay. Recently, I have visited a building, a G plus 7 office building and the purpose of the visit was to repair and rehabilitate that G plus 7 building. Okay. In elevation, the building looks like this and in plan, the building looks like this one. Okay. There was lots of structural component which were damaged and apart from all those damaged there was a special problem in the building which attract my attention what is that that is simply that all the corner column in the building as you can see in the plan here okay marked in black color okay so this column this corner column this corner column and this one and this one and this one all these corner columns are heavily damaged and heavily cracked okay but uh, contrary to this corner column if you look at the face or this intermediate column they were uh, comparatively in good condition okay so what was the reason or why this has happened just pause the video for a second and try to think about it well, if you have found the reason of this crack, please watch till the end to check your answer. And if you have not found out any answer, in that case also, please watch till end to find out the answer. Okay. So, as for my observation, uh, here you can see that this is a G plus 7 building. Okay. So, when the height of any structure is more than 6 or 7 meter, the wind force acting on that structure become prominent okay you know that wind pressure distribution look like this okay this is more or less up to 6 meter and after that it increased simply and in this case also the building was subjected to a high wind pressure and i think you are familiar with the recent severe cyclone in bengal and I think during that cyclonic storm, this building was subjected to a heavy lateral force. Okay, so let's say uh, the resultant wind force was acting along this path. Okay, along the center path. So here I can draw the center line of the wind force here. Let's say this is the wind force. Okay, center line because this is the center point of this phase. Okay. So if this plan dimension is B, simply this distance is B. Okay. But from this cross section or from this plan area, it is clear that the center of gravity of this plan is not lying in this point. Rather, the CG of the plan is lying somewhere here. Okay. So this is the CG of the building. Clear? So now what is happening here, if this is the CG and you are applying a force about this CG or about this po point, what will happen? A couple will be generated. If this lateral force is simply P and the distance from the CG, let's say this is uh, A, okay. So this M is nothing but P times A clear so this is the couple is acting on this plan and this couple is nothing but one type of a torsion if we look at this cross section let's say this is the cross section and if we apply a moment like this this is nothing but a torsion clear so here due to this lateral wind load a torsion is being generated okay and you know that stress which is generated due to torsion is nothing but T times Y by here this is your J okay or polar moment inertia. So now from this equation I can tell you that if Y is maximum the stress generated is also maximum correct. So here from this point you can see that the distance of this corner column that is y is maximum correct compared to this 
face column so that's why this column was subjected to your maximum stress and that's why they have cracked before this face column that's all for today's video